Gemini, welcome to your money and career reading for April and May. I'm Robin Carlion from, from Robin's Authentic Tarot, and thank you for visiting my channel. Let's see what your situational energy is for this month. Let's see what your situational energy is for this month. Gemini. Ooh, oh, this is lovely. That is awesome. So being handed this new communication, new insight, new perspective. Mm, I love that. I love it. Coming straight from spirit, coming straight from the universe. Okay, so now you receive this as your challenge. So receiving this new mindset, insight, um, there is a little bit of a challenge there where you have the world in your hands and you may not feel that you do or that things are possible. So right now in this energy, it is the 8th that I am recording this on, uh, April the 8th. And there is a massive transformational energy that's going on right now. And it's really calling on people to level up. That is what I have been receiving. Um, other people from other readings, they have been receiving. So oh, there is so much of that right now. And I really want you to believe in yourself that you do have the world in your hands. This right here, there's, it's like the two pillars, the two wands. So in this fire energy that we're currently in, these two are that, that doorway, that walkway, that new path. Okay. So there's, there's new things that are happening for all of us. There is anxieties, there is unsureness, there is uh, self-worth issues possibly. And that is the first thing that came up for me was the self-worth. And I really want you to know that you are worthy of doing that. It is so important that you cherish yourself, that you cherish your energy. Okay, so here's the belief energy. And this is the hangman looking at things from different perspectives. So not hanging upside down or anything, but definitely looking at things from all different ways. Now we can be in, in a certain, like in our career. So in your career, it could be something that has become dare I say normal, <laughs> um, it's kind of lost its flair. And there's, there's so much more potential. There's, there's so much out there for you and you're being handed that Gemini. Okay. So in the business, the career, the attracting money realm, there's, there is so many things so that you, I mean, you would probably have, if you're resonating to this, you would have a very good picture of what it is that you want to do. For those of you that, that, that don't know what that picture looks like yet, think of things that you love to do. Think of things that really bring you passion or just, um, I, okay. Pinterest. Go on Pinterest is what I just received. Anyway, there there are so many things out there. There's there's creating digital products. There's um, like just being creative in general. There's doing videos on YouTube. There's all sorts of things that you can do on TikTok, uh, Reels. There's there's many different things, many different possibilities that you stepping out of your comfort zone in a very big way, in a way that feels very, very uncomfortable to you. Um, one of the comments that I received was someone felt like they were losing their security blanket, but they felt so called 
to delve into themselves and to really honor themselves. So that's what I'm receiving for you is that you have everything that you need. You have everything that it takes to do that. I also want to say um, that, oh, okay, I'll get to that in a moment. That's amazing. Um, I also want to say that um, the videos that I do, I do them with uh, two lights and I do them with a phone, with a little, um, what's it called, a tripod. And, you know, one day I may level up and, you know, get a camera and do all that kind of stuff. But right now, it's the messages that are important. And so if you think that there's there's a lot of materials that you need to get before you start something, there's not. And I had another conversation the other day where one of my first courses that I taught um, was a chakra course. And I knew what I knew at that point in time, years and years and years ago, what I knew about chakras. And I stood up in front of people and I had paper in front of my hand and I was shaking and my, my voice was shaking. And so I started, I did something, I didn't know the ins and outs of everything. And so that's what I'm really called to tell you is that you don't need to know the ins and outs of everything, just start. Because now you can ask me anything about chakras and boom, boom, boom. like. And I, I live for chakras. I live for our energy. I live for my energy, your energy. All I want to do is assist people and have these people, have all of you be extremely happy, successful, prosperous in your life because that's what it's all about. It's about having fun, being happy, attracting really high quality energy. So anyway. It's coming for you. This is your root. This is amazing. This is so incredible. So here is the nine. This is the nine of cups. This, what I was just talking about, that joy and that happiness. Oh yeah, this is wish fulfillment. That is gorgeous energy. Oh my gosh, I love that for you, Gemini. And then to be paired up not only with a pentacle card, but the six of pentacles. It is 2022 that equals six. This is giving is receiving. This is you giving your time, could be money, for those that are less fortunate lending an ear for people that are needing a little bit longer to talk and express themselves. So for you, Gemini, the top three chakras, the communication, the listening, and the receiving. So really be open to receiving this. I'm not actually done with this yet. These scales there, they're balanced. They're balanced. There's that. The, so the giving is receiving. You give, you receive back. Not what you gave, but you receive in other ways. And so even with your businesses, with your careers, um, setting up some sort of donation, some sort of charity, something like that where you are feeling really good about what you're doing. And also in business, so I have, I'm, I am at my limit now, but I mentor three people and I love it. I love it. And I receive so much happiness and joy from that because I know they're all going to succeed and I see it within them. And so that is like set up a mentor program, like do something like that where, where you're giving because when you give, you always receive. And when you receive, you receive in higher vibrational energy. It's so beautiful. That is amazing. I love it. Okay. So for your present energy 
This is the queen, extremely abundant. I love this. I absolutely love this. So no matter what level you are at, there is always room to grow. There is always new things to learn, always new things to level up in. So whatever it is in your career, if there's, if you're working towards a promotion, if you have received a promotion, there is something that feels like it's about to happen. There's something that is very much attracted to you. This is that trust. Queens are trust. Queens are very intuitive. Queens are honoring themselves and have always honored themselves. When you have, so see this yellow here, there is that solar plexus. So that's that willpower, that confidence, that that igniting your flame within. Then she has this red on. Now, the pentacle energy, that is that foundational energy. That is the root chakra. That is really beautiful. Like, just look at all of this lushness, all of this growth. It's gorgeous. Present energy. Or energy that has come or energy that is coming to you. So for your future energy. Oh, oh my goodness. I love that. So you have this beautiful fire energy. So for your situational, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that. You have two aces and so that fire. So there is that fast moving, that momentum is building. So whatever it is that you're working on right now, whatever it is that you're looking to get into, believing in yourself that you can do it, leveling up because this is definitely coming. Wish fulfillment, like this is such incredibly amazing energy that's your root like that's just magic that is amazing Gemini I am so incredibly happy for you this beautiful fire energy I love it being handed being given so right now in the eighth we are currently in that fire energy we are in the first astrological house that means we're at the beginning of this cycle. So it's Happy New Year all over again. So as we move through and progress into April, we are going to be changing into Taurus, which is that Earth abundant energy. So prepare, really start thinking right now, not overthinking, but really thinking, use your creativity. You have so much creativity. Again, the top three chakras, that's what you are all about. So receiving, having that intuition. Ooh, okay, all right. So we have here, you have here, you have the two of uh, swords. <clears throat> this is your energy, excuse me. You, there is a decision. There is a decision to be made. And I think that's like, that's exactly what is going on right now. And that's what I've kind of been feeling. And I guess that's why I've been called to like give all of these examples because there's that decision. There's that decision to stay and necessarily not be fulfilled or to take a risk and to really honor yourself. Now, when you honor yourself, so that's, that's what I feel here. When you honor yourself and the wish fulfillment for your root, for like the basis of all of this. So when you take that risk, you're raising your vibration, you're trusting. So, and also your intuitive energy. Oh, it's, it's, I, I love the air energy. I love that we are in the age of Aquarius. I love that there's so many things that are happening, all of the advancements. And you most definitely believe that you will like easing in. We're only in the second year of this now. We're still transitioning into this energy, but feel that alignment into this incredible energy of innovation and creation and uniqueness and you like your independent individual self that is really creating and you're concentrating on you and what you can 
provide and and do for other people because whatever it is that that you're doing and whatever it is that you're called to do or that you're currently doing and that you're loving, but there's just kind of like a change level up, there's someone that needs that. There's someone else on the other side of that, that, that needs you to level up, that needs you to really believe in yourself because you're going to inspire all of these people to then make those changes. And when we go through things, then we can help other people. So this is your time right now, Gemini. This is your time to like really level up, to really, to push the envelope, to really step out of your comfort zone because you have the world in your hand and you're standing in that doorway. I love that. So making that decision for your internal energy. Oh, here we go. Okay, so mm, this is my favorite. This is my favorite major arcana, the hermit. Um, I love the hermit because I am a hermit. <laughs> and with this hermit energy, there's that seeking that wisdom, collecting that wisdom. With the hermit energy, there is oh, like so much for you to receive in that external energy, in this age of Aquarius energy, your sister sign, being open to receive. Like, and as I was just talking about that alignment and how I know that because your beautiful air energy, there is, there is definitely going to be that ease of that alignment into the into the future and all of the things that are happening and all of the things that I mentioned about innovation, creation, uniqueness. So this is all around you. So soak it up, soak it up and allow it to come into your energy and get really excited about it, that there's new things that are going to happen. The way that things were before with um, how we were raised and how our parents were raised, how their parents were raised, theirs and theirs and theirs. Things are changing. We're not in that energy anymore. We're not in that era. That was like 2000, no, yeah, 2000 and like, I don't know, 2022, something like that, years. And so now we're going, we're in the second year of the next 2000 plus years. So there's so many shifts that are happening right now. And this is the time in this astrological house, the, the first house of the new cycle. This is your opportunity. It's really, really exciting. Um, all of the energy, even if you uh, go on to my other YouTube channel, it's Robin Carlion. There's a weekly reading for this week and the week of the 4th to the, I think it's the 10th, I don't remember. Um, there's like a major transformation. There's the tower card. There's like, yeah, you just have to look, you just have to watch it. Um, massive major transition. And then when I do, I do daily um, cards, just one card for the day on the Instagram reels uh, at Robin's Authentic. And they've all been like super high vibe or they've all been like massive major arcana cards, like uh, a lot of really, really high quality energy. So know that you are aligned to this energy. You are very much aligned to all of the newness that's going to be happening. So really uh, focus, get excited, get really excited, get pumped up about it. I mean, all of these cards are stellar, stellar. And I just feel so called to like give you all sorts of examples of all things that have been currently going on. Oh, wow. Okay. So hopes, dreams, and fears. So your hopes and dreams. Ooh, okay. 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 So <laughs> There's that speed, the speed of the decisions, okay? So that's the first thing that came up was the decision making. It's like, yep, 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 not overthinking it. Gonna do it, gonna do it, gonna do it. This also 
Um, so it is fast paced, but it's also that, that um, uber confidence, okay? So there is so much confidence there is that that willpower there is that uh decisiveness that that decision making um this is solar plexus energy so that solar plexus energy is is you have like you're blazing that flame you know like you're blazing that trail of fire that that is you and your desire so that is what that solar plexus energy is that is what that king is that king is like the almighty like i am i am me a hear me roar kind of thing okay so actually it is the year of the tiger it's that fire energy yes there you go wow yes risk taking stepping out of your comfort zone baby steps you don't have to make these big huge gigantic steps they can be baby steps. They can even be just the awareness. Like, you know what? Like you're, you're focused on the awareness now that there is a shift that needs to be made. That is perfect. That's perfect. There's, there's no pressure. <laughs> there's no pressure, but, but you are being encouraged by spirit to make some changes. Intuitive. So the changes that feel right they've got to feel right for you okay you have transition <laughs> this is your outcome that is amazing okay so i'm scorpio this is my card this is my life is uh evolve 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 <laughs> so i'm used to this i i love this i appreciate this now this card is absolutely loaded so death does not mean death so it does mean the end of a cycle and it does mean that there's new beginnings that are happening because after something ends there's a new beginning so i want you to see here that there is a trail here and it's going to this sunrise and there's pillars on each side. So seeing here, these two, there's that doorway, you have the world in your hands. It's so in the distance, but I just wanna make sure that I'm Anyway, there's that doorway there. I know this is like the top of someone's head, but there is that, there is a path, there is a trail that goes there. The sun is rising. It's ready for you. And there's those pillars there. So really look deep into that. So there's that flow. So it's a water card. There is that flow. There is that, uh, the, the clearing out, the getting rid of the things that aren't working anymore. I don't have my glasses on, but there is a lot of yellow. So that is also representing that solar plexus energy. Really give yourself that power to make those changes in whichever way that it is concerning your money and career. There is, there is a lot of advancement. There's a lot of happiness here. Please don't take this card as a negative. It's not. It's not. I, this is, this is me. <laughs> this is my, this is uh, my energy evolving. Take it as that there is that there's, there's the old that needs to go. And we're evolving. There's that new astrological cycle. We are all a part of this energy. So really allow yourself to ignite your inner flame. There's a lot of solar plexus in here, a lot of fire energy. Make that decision. Honor yourself honor yourself. I do love how with the transition, so it is like making whatever transition it is for you, there's that water. There's all of that water. All you need to do is just pick one, take that blindfold off, get up and walk away and walk towards the pillars there. Go get that world, put it in your hand and go. So that's what it is. And 
new insight, new fire. I love this. I love this. This ties so well together, but like this here, wow. Wow. Wish fulfillment, really extremely high vibe, six energy of this year, high, high vibe. And just that nurture, that abundance of the queen. Collect your wisdom. Feel that power that you have within. I love this. Gemini, have an amazing, prosperous, evolving April and May. Mwah. I love you.